Hey YouTubes, this is Dan, finally back with another video. And what I want to do is a couple things. Number one, I want to thank you guys for the great comments on my music videos that I really appreciate and uh, is always the one thing that keeps me going. And of course a quick apology for being absent for so long, but whatever, you know. I post a video when I feel like it, otherwise it'll just be shit. Um, the other thing is, I think I want to restart my piano tutorials because I think I kind of lost connection to uh, what they used to be and yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. So what I want to do is I want to improve on the content. As you can see here, this is one thing that I try to is talking, just maybe reading at the side and uh, playing. That's a very, very advanced technique that I find actually helps uh, about fingering, finger positioning and uh, thinking multiple things at the same time, helping you along in harder pieces. And one thing you want to do, and this is how this developed, is you want to be your own critic. Very, very good critic. As a matter of fact, you're probably the only good critic there is. Uh, because even if you have friends and they know what they're doing, they usually try to be nice to you. So if there's something they don't like very much, then they'll be nice about it, which is not very good for you. Uh, it can be, of course, will keep you playing, but as for developing your talents, it won't do much. So what you need to do is you need to listen to yourself, uh, maybe record yourself, um, or even tell your friends what to look for, and then see if um, if things improve, if they get better, or what they can find. And here's the thing about criticizing: you want to do it in a very professional manner. That means you need to understand why you like something and why you don't like something. So that means, example music, there's a piece, a uh, music that you like. What is it that you like? Is it the beat? Is it the bass? Is it the, uh, the chords? Is it... What, what is it? Just think about it. That will make you not only a better person, much better critic, but it will also make you a better artist if you're into music. If it's photography, then uh, think about the picture. What is it about that picture that you like so much? What is it that moves you? Like I have this piece here, uh, Transformers Arrival to Earth. There's something about it that I just can't get away from and um, it is amazing because I like the composition, I like the chords, I like the tonality, I like the simplicity. I like the totality of this piece, it's just amazing, it's so simple, it's so short but very effective. That is something that I get hooked to, or hooked on. And those are points that you need to understand when you criticize. Um, when you pick a piece like this, for example, I don't just leave it at the piece that's on the paper. What I'm playing now doesn't exist on a paper. I'm just improvising here. And um, what I'm also, what I also did is I actually changed to a piano version, pure piano version, and I also made um, kind of a, a fancy version with a lot of in, uh, instruments. And that is something that is very important as artists, and that is where you will develop. Uh, lot. You have to move away from already existing pieces, ideas and developments and then you'll grow. Um, when it comes to um, improvising though, you gotta be careful and do it very effectively and I'll of course get into all these things uh, later on but that is basically what music is to me and why it is so important to not think in music in right and wrong. That doesn't exist in music. It cannot exist because that will just make you a big fail. Uh, you tell somebody um, he 
he's playing something wrong, you're an asshole. If you tell him you're, he's playing something wrong and you tell him what and why and what do you think about it, that doesn't make you an asshole, it makes you a professional critic. And the artist will probably appreciate your comment because maybe he did something he didn't even notice before. And here you are and you're helping him. So it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And that applies to the, your entire bike. As a little addition to this video then, let's have a quick look at this piece. It's basically, like I say, Transformers Arrival to Earth, okay? thing is slower a little bit more emotion but I just need to play it quick um, and so what I did is there's uh, like this um. okay so a couple different instruments and then I made just today I started on this piano version that is pretty amazing I think well wow, I like it <laughs> but it's still in development so what I did is I just broke up the um, the left hand a bit, spread the notes out a bit more, and added a few more to the right hand. So how did I do? Oh. sounds not bad and actually it does give me goosebumps so I'm doing something right um, I just like it so this is something you want to do too um, sometimes you got to go in your little corner do your own thing and just don't care what somebody else thinks and um, yeah that might be a good improvement so we'll see you in the next tutorials I guess <laughs>